What is on your bucket list, personally speaking, as Minister of Immigration? Let's put aside your mandate. Like, what do you personally want to achieve for as long as you're in office holding this important portfolio? Um, look, there's a couple big things that people who watch me know I care deeply about. Uh, and I'll knock those off, but I'm going to give you one special answer at the end. But maybe two special answers. Um, I, I do want to get workers here to help me labor shortage. I want to successfully uh, resettle uh, and make good on our commitments to African refugees and to Ukrainians who are in search of safe haven. I want to be the minister who will actually get us back to the service standard of the broadcast. Those are the big ticket items that everybody knows about. There's two things that I really care about, uh, in addition to those that I want to do while I am in the Ministry of Immigration. The EMPP, Employment Mobility Pathways Pilot, has the potential to change the way that the world thinks about refugees, not as people who are in need of charity. But as people who arrive with a hell of a lot more than the contents of their suitcase, I've seen this program bring workers who happen to be refugees to my community. They are now providing care to seniors who live where I live. Um, but we can teach people that refugee resettlement doesn't have to be motivated only by altruism, but also by our economic self-interest. And we can demonstrate that to countries all over the world. We're going to uh, make a meaningful impact on displaced people. And there's now almost 100 million. Uh, the last one that I'll leave you with is that I, I think we owe it to people who've been here for a significant period of time, who do not have status, to allow them to become regularized. Uh, it's a mandate letter commitment to do something for undocumented workers and people who are making contributions to our communities. Uh, I think it's the right thing to do, and we're going to continue to dig in on our policy work to advance measures so we can provide status uh, to certain people who've been here for a lengthy period of time, who are making a positive contribution, and just don't have the status of Canada. I think we can address that issue.